available within walking distance. You should go see it for yourself, the way I've seen it with my own eyes. It's absolutely beautiful and a wonderful change. Call the Ackerley today to schedule a tour and see what I mean. 503-350-3400. That's 350-3400. And tell them Lars sent you. Patty's, Produce Road, Circa 33, The Station, 445, Patton, Maryland, and The Independent. Get a fill at all seven with the IRC Growler Club Card for just 69 bucks. That's a $140 value. Get it now at GrowlerCardPDX.com. When Zero Res cleans your carpets, they remove more dirt, more hair, more dead skin, more allergens, and more gross stuff from your carpet than any other cleaner in the industry. Their primary focus is to leave absolutely zero residue when they clean your carpet. And nobody else cleans it like they do because the empowered water they clean with is patented. Listen, they've been out to my home a number of times to clean the carpets and even our tile and upholstery. They do a top-notch job. You can call and get your home cleaned by them, too. Zero Res will make your home a healthier home. Your carpets will look bright and clean. They'll feel fresh and soft and stay cleaner longer because there's no soapy residue left behind like you get from those other cleaners. And your carpet will be sanitized for all those little tights crawling around down there. Call Zero Res today so you can feel the difference yourself like we do. Three rooms clean for just $125. Call 503-946-6955. Online, ZeroResPortland.com. Zero Res, spell their name forward or backward. It's the same both ways. Zero Res. Hey, Gonzano here. I'm teaming up with Concussion and Whiplash Clinic to tell you, don't text and drive. Distractible driving deaths are up 60% in Oregon, and car accidents are now the number one cause of concussion. For more information, go to ConcussionPDX.com. That's ConcussionPDX.com. Looking for a certified pre-owned Toyota Camry? Toyota of Portland has hundreds of certified pre-owned vehicles. And the best prices on pre-owned Camry. Almost all are certified with low miles and include our pre-owned warranty program. Toyota of Portland.com. At Hi, I'm Jimmy Buckley. How would you like to meet an endangered man? You can by joining Save the Manatee Club's Adopt the Manatee program. It's easy to help. Call 1-800-432-J-O-I-E. The pursuit of perfection is never ending. For over 25 years, quality has been the cornerstone of Life's Auto Collision Centers. The correct clips, the strength of the welds, door gaps, color match, body linings, factory parts, the best materials, frame specs, structural alignment, fixing all the hidden damage. This never-ending quest to achieve perfection is what defines Life's. It is what sets us apart. We are a category of one. Life's Auto Collision Centers, the finest in collision repair. Our club is the cleanest in the country. The trash America is pounding. I'm not even talking about the government. I'm talking about the discovery of America and the trash of Columbus. Because Columbus was not nearly as pure as Harvey once. Not nearly as pure as Bill Clinton. Not nearly as pure as the Democrat Party of all. No, no. What Columbus did in founding America must be degraded. Mark Levin, telling you the truth every weekday, 3 till 6 p.m. on Freedom 970. Portland's great place to talk. You're listening to America's Morning News on Freedom 970. You're listening to America's Morning News. I'm John Hunt on America's Morning News. And I'm Carlos Martinez filling in for Wendy King. The most powerful bomb blast ever witnessed in Somalia's capital yesterday killed 276 people, with around 300 others injured, according to the country's information minister early this morning, making it the deadliest single attack in this horn of African nation. The toll is expected to continue to rise. In many tweets, people called the attacks barbaric and said countries included Turkey and Kenya had already offered to send medical aid. Hospitals are overwhelmed a day after a truck bomb targeted a crowded street near key government ministries, including the Foreign Affairs Ministry. Angry protesters gathered near the scene of the attack. Somalia's government blamed the Al-Qaeda-anked Al-Shabib extremist group for what it called a national disaster. However, Africa's deadliest Islamic extremist group, which often targets high-profile areas of the capital, has yet to comment. Al-Shabib earlier this year vowed to step up attacks after both the Trump administration and Somalia's recently elected president announced new military efforts against the group. The Mogadishu bombing is one of the deadliest attacks in the sub-Saharan Africa, larger than the Garissa University attack in Kenya in 2015 and the U.S. Embassy bombings in Kenya and Tanzania in 1998. Doctors at Mogadishu
issue hospitals struggled to assist badly wounded victims, many burned beyond recognition. Dr. Mohad Youssef, the director of the Medina Hospital, said this is really horrendous, unlike anything I've ever seen in the past. Nations special envoy to Somalia called the attack revolting, saying an unprecedented number of Here's civilians Salem. were killed in the blast. Michael Keating said the UN and African nations were supporting the Somali government's response with logistical support, medical supplies, and expertise. Sebastian Kurz is set to become the next chancellor of Austria, which would make him Europe's youngest leader at just 21 years of age, based on early results from yesterday's election. Though he will likely need to form a coalition to rule, the People's Party, which Kurz has led since May, is widely expected to form an alliance with the Freedom Party, putting the far right in an Austrian governing coalition for the first time in more than 10 years. With 90% of the votes counted, the People's Party has gained the largest share of Parliament's powerful National Council, with more than 31% of the vote. That should translate to 62 of 183 seats, as reported by state broadcaster ORM. Preliminary results will be announced on October 19th, and full official results will be declared on October 31st. Sunday's election was widely watched across Europe, where there has been a rise of populist far-right parties, many of which have campaigned on anti-immigration platforms. Kurz himself strongly criticized the influx of immigrants that started back in 2015. While the result appears to be the clear win for the conservatives, it also puts the far-right Freedom Party in the powerful position of kingmaker after a campaign period that saw a distinct shift to the right. An oil rig exploded last night in Lake Pontchartrain in the St. Charles Parish, according to the Louisiana Police Department. Kenner Police Department spokesman Brian McGregor said last night that rescue boats are being sent from the Kenner boat launch and officials with the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office are assisting. He said there are a lot of injuries and many of them very serious with at least 10 confirmed dead and more expected. Initial reports said six people were injured and one person was missing. Five of the injured were taken to University Medical Center with blast-type injuries and burns and are in critical condition, said Mike Gallo, the director of the East Jefferson Emergency Medical Services. The two others are in stable condition at East Jefferson General Hospital. Search and rescue efforts are continuing throughout the night and into this morning. Reports came into the Emergency Operations Center at about 7.15 last night and smoke was seen from Lake Punch and Train, according to Jefferson Parish spokesman Antoine Harris in a news release last night. Several people were rescued from the active fire on the rig. The city of Kenner government posted on its Facebook page last night saying authorities on the scene report that cleaning chemicals ignited on the surface of the oil rig and on the platform. Clovely Oil Company owns the platform that's in production, according to Taylor Darden, a lawyer for the company who listed it as the registered agent for the Louisiana Secretary of State. The platform, located in Jefferson Parish, is used for the transfer of oil, according to Chief David Tibbetts of the East Bank Consolidated Fire Department. He said the government's current goal is to stop the oil flow and, if needed, let it burn off safely. Authorities acknowledged there was a possibility that the firemen oil could be leaking into the lake, but noted that Jefferson Parish drinking water will remain safe because it is pulled from the Mississippi River. The Coast Guard will be conducting the water quality evaluation as well as the Lake Pontchartrain Basin Foundation. Lake Pontchartrain is located north of New Orleans. As you get ready for football this weekend in the NFL, 